Hello guys, Lincoln here and I just upgraded my forge to level 26. So today I wanted to show you what gear you can get from level 26 forge and um, uh, what the materials are. Discuss a little around that. But the coolest feature I want to discuss today, and it's a totally new thing, I haven't noticed that until now, but once you start upgrading your rooms above level 25, you get some new cool stuff. So when you upgraded your guild hall at 25, you got like your helper time was two minutes and 50 seconds reduction for each time someone helps you. And you could have a, a maximum of 20 helpers, right? This will continue to increase to three minutes now when uh, once I upgraded it. But the cool new stuff here is that I will actually get attack speed out of guild territory increased with 4%. So upgrading the guild hall will make you stronger when you attack outside of any guild territory. So new feature and the same goes for actually a lot of other rooms. So in uh, the forge, for example, once you upgraded that one, you will now actually start to get a lot of attack power and health in the catacombs. Um, so it will be easier to manage the catacombs once you increase the forge level. And uh, for this room now, the garrison, we can, can't actually see this since I'm actually upgrading it right now. But uh, when I, I can press upgrade now, but there it said that uh, it said no healing for four turns. And I'm not exactly sure what that means. If it means like it's the four first waves of attackers can't get any heals, but that would be awesome. That means we will actually get a lot stronger defense in our mansions. And this will actually increase more if we level this up higher. It means even more waves without any heals on the opponents. So new cool features. Uh, I think it's the same for the infirmary. Uh, yeah, now actually our heroes will gain in health. We will get 2% more health next time I upgrade my uh, infirmary to level 26. So we will actually boost uh, our heroes with passive abilities by upgrading these rooms. So new features and uh, really cool stuff. So uh, when it comes to the gear, uh, once you get to level 26 on your forge, there are two new weapons you can get. One for your um, supporter and one for your tank. So basically these are the levels you want to get your heroes to um, that are tanks and supporters. Because those will uh, almost always need to require 110 in level. Um, if we compare this wand... Um, that's level 110 with the one that's level 84 requirements. It's actually the same energy on hit. Uh, the primary stats is the same. So it's not really a, a super upgrade, but of course it's better. You get better secondary stats or a possibility to get better secondary stats at least. Um, when it comes to the, the armor, you have as well, you need 110 on your fixer. Or your supporter and then you need uh, level 110 on Daeva if you want her to use this new gear and um, another interesting thing to notice is that like all the other gear until now if you check the materials you need about 20 of these rare materials for each gear and once you get to the new ones you need the double amount so it will be twice as expensive to get gear that that has gear requirements above level 100 basically. So a lot more expensive making gear once you get your forge to level 26. Um, among the hats we have um, an assassin. So this is the one you want for Sadaharu if you don't have some better ones. And uh, as you can see as well the supporters also 110. And equally expensive 40 materials of each. And when it comes to the feet, you need now um, rare specific equipment, equipment, human stuff. So you need silver that you can farm now in the catacombs when you fight Alice. Uh, but this is only armor gear and uh, I guess the first human hero you will have that has this amount of level. If it's not an uncommon one, it's probably Sadaharu and uh, he might not benefit the most out of armor. It depends if you want to make him 
uh, totally DPS, uh, or if you want him to have some survivability, then this one is good for him. When it comes to the jewelry, we have um, a health necklace for werewolves. So we need arcane moon runes and for the rings. We actually have a good one uh, for vampires and we have a lot of vampires usually uh, a lot of good vampires early on in the game so they are probably high level enough to be using these level 115 for daeva and other heroes but you need those blood tears you will get attack speed as primary stats so that's why which one which why this one is so fantastic and basically once you craft a couple of these depending on what the secondary stats it could be good for both um, DPS, but you could use them as well for tanks or any other class type depending on how much of the secondary stats you get. If you get a lot of health gear, you want them and dodge, you want them on tanks. If you get a lot of attack power, you want them on the DPS. We can actually make a couple of these because this actually looks kind of cool. So let's craft a few. This one got a lot of crit damage and crit chance, good DPS ring. And uh, uh, get another one. Crit damage, energy re regeneration, attack power, attack speed. A mix of a little everything. We'll see who will get that one as well. But uh, these are the new features for the Forge at level 26. And kind of cool that now when you upgrade your new runes, you will actually get some new features as well. Until next time, guys. Bye.